they give us everything we need. For a year that started like a wild volcano on a rainy morning, the year sure had some memorable moments, didn't it? Not only did we laugh and get shocked, we also had a good time with fun pop culture moments that would consider a starting point for an exciting sequence in the entertainment industry. Feeling lost on the moment so far this year, like Rema said, calm down as today's episode on Spice Most takes you back on a journey to where it all started with pop culture this year. Hello everyone, what's up? It's your boy Cross the Boss out here. You already know what time it is. And uh, I'm a baby boy, a tech enthusiast, an entertainer, and I'm all about lifestyle, making a community big and better. We are Spice Mouse. What up, people? My name is Dijo Lokun. I'm a fashion photographer and a creative director based in Lagos, Nigeria, and this is Spice Mouse. Hey, guys, my name is Kennedy Ekezie. I'm the CEO at Kepa, and this is Spice Mouse. Hey, this is Jadis. I'm a singer, songwriter, an actor, and this is Spice Most. What's good, my people? My name is Nonzo with the Z, Bassi. I'm a singer, songwriter, and an actor and you are watching Spice Most. Hey guys, what's up? My name is King Mardi and I'm a singer, songwriter and dancer from Nigeria and this is Spice Most. Tell us about your year so far. My year has been, it's been really good. I've seen a lot of highs and lows this year, um, made a lot of progress in business and personal life, fell in love this year. Um, that's been amazing and yeah, having fun so far. My year has been interesting. Around July, August, I started like, it started picking up. It's been quite interesting. Um, it's been a fulfilling year, to be honest. It's been a crazy year so far, you know, from, you know, the beginning of the year, which was, I think, election period to, um, you know, I think, um, um, my birthday, then going into the house, then coming out of the house, uh, you know, it's just been a very crazy, yeah, I think 2023 has been a very interesting year for me. It started out with the whole election and the drama in Nigeria and a lot of things became very shaky. But um, generally, um, I became a mom at the end of last year. So I just basically was doing mommy duties throughout the year while I was also recording my songs. and. That's basically how the year went. I mean, it's been a beautiful year. It's been one of my most hardworking years so far because this is the year I put out my first project, my first collaboration, music videos and everything. So this year has been amazing. 2023 has been really cool for me. Um, I finished my album finally and I said I wanted to start doing movies on YouTube. And I did quite a few. Uh, my dad turned 70 this year, so that was really cool. I went back home to Calabar and I've not gone back in a while, uh, so that was nice. What is the one thing you are looking forward to before the end of the year? Looking forward to making a lot of money before the end of the year. One thing I'm looking forward to before the end of the year is a conference I'm hosting. It's called The Roundtable. It brings together young people and we're expecting about 700 people this year, so I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> Plenty of money in my account. <laughs> Um, there are some projects that um, are in the pipeline that I'm expecting the clients to get back to me. So I'm looking forward to doing those projects. I don't know, really. Like, I haven't thought about it, but maybe, like, I'm looking forward to meeting some of my idols, I guess. Just off the top of my head. Definitely seeing my family. I think my mom is coming back. I haven't seen her in almost a year now. So I think my siblings, my sister gave birth. So I think she's coming back. So I think I'm looking forward to reunite, um, getting a big reunion with my family. And um, yeah, um, I think my cousin's birthdays are coming up soon. So looking forward to that. And um, yeah, looking forward to Dirty December as always. You know, every, for the past six years, I've been, always been having a very good, you know, December time. Some of my friends come back from abroad. You know, it's always going to be crazy here. So yeah, looking forward to that. One thing I'm looking forward to before the end of the year is my album listening. I'm very excited about it. It's called Diary of a Lover Boy and um, it's the first time I get to like really bring people together to hear it. I've been working on it since 2020. What project are you currently working on? Currently I'm working on my second exhibition, my second solo exhibition, which is supposed to start um, second week in January um, next year. 
Um, so the pieces are ready, but um, there are some ground runs that we are doing to get the right space, um, the marketing, the promotion. So right now, those are the things that uh, myself and my team are working on. So I'm working on an EP with um, a producer, Diaso, um, for Spice Most. It's called um, Once Upon a Sound. Um, it'll be out next year. Currently working on, well, I just released my first body of work titled King Madi, so that is out. And I released it a couple of days ago, so I guess that's my first project and that's what's coming out this year. Um, I own a software startup called Kippa and I'm spending most of my time working on that. So it's a permanent project that I always be working on, so. Currently, well, that is my big project. I'm putting out the music and uh, I just registered my production company, Wild Imaginations. <sighs> I just did my um, um, a video shoot um, uh, two days ago um, for a single, yeah, Outside Has Not A Look Back, so it's coming out December, so get ready for that. Also, I'm, I have a project which I'm building with my community right now, 2024. It's actually going to be a blessing. It's going to be a big one. I can't wait. Would you consider fashion as a major role player in 2023 pop culture scene? Yeah, totally. I think the way you dress is a major role. Um, even in your career and identification, people like to use like modes of dressing to know who you are. Because sometimes what you wear is kind of it talks about you before you even speak. It's like, oh, you know, she has like. Uh, a blue hair and like she has this oversized jacket and that's probably Maddie or something even sometimes without like your face being evident so I feel like your outfit speaks a lot about you and identifies you. Yes I'll, I'll consider fashion as a major role player in pop culture if you look at how most industries develop most music industries you see that the fashion industry is growing in parallel so I and you know, I'm trying to embody that myself by trying to be fashionable too. Uh, yes I will consider fashion as a major role in pop culture this year I remember that um, we had so many iconic um, looks or outfits for the Met Gala this year. I remember um, Roger Katz's look <laughs> and I, I remember vividly when they interviewed her on red carpet, she didn't say a word, she was just doing meow, 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 like it was just funny. And um, there was this look by Asap and Rihanna as well. And so yeah, I think even the Barbie fever, like people had to like make different outfits in pink, right? So I think yeah, fashion really was an iconic moment, um, an iconic factor for pop culture this year, yes. Well, yes, um, fashion is um, a, a very essential part of the pop culture, so yeah, it is. 100% fashion, I remember they, they, they just did the fashion week, which was amazing. I was there for two of the events. Oh my goodness, the, 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 the ambience, um, the surrounding, the, the deco, everything was amazing. Like it looked like I was in Miami or like you know in a you know Paris Fashion Week kind of weekend. You know it was just amazing. You know when you come out, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you're back in Lagos. Yeah, well inside there, it, every, the light, everything was amazing. Like it killed it. It was one of the best you know events I've been to this year. People have been doing fashion, like you know, fashion is fashion, right? But like this year, you know, fashion has not really been hitting it for me. Um, maybe because, like I said, the world economy is kind of and people don't really have as much buying power anymore. So I don't know, fashion hasn't really given me like any strong moments that I'm like, oh wow, you know what I mean? But things have been happening in school, you know, but nothing mind-blowing this year for me. Give a word of advice to someone. Be yourself. Honestly, I know people say it all the time, be yourself, be yourself, and it's now sounding like really cliche but there is so much power and beauty in owning who you are. I think, I think that's it for me. Be yourself, own yourself, love yourself. An advice would be stay strong, don't give up. Keep your head together, yeah. An advice I'll give to someone is to pay attention to your instinct and to stop trying to be like other people. It's, it's a bad deal. It's, you're paying so much for so little. So. I think my advice to anyone would be do something iconic, do something impactful, do something that will make, make people sort of distinguish you, right? So uh, I think it's going to be, make sure you try at least one impactful thing. Never, never, never say you can't do it. Never. Like when someone says you can't do it, they're chatting shit. Like they don't even know what you have. Trust me, they don't even know 
the perspective of where you're think, seeing things from. So when people tell you you can't do it, laugh at them. So tell them, haha, so go for it. So that's what I'll tell you. Never, never say never. I would say keep posting. I'm always saying that because that's genuinely the only way. I feel like this era is very accepting. This era is not in the era where you have to be someone to be someone. Like you kind of put out your heart and soul and then if people genuinely love you, they support you. So keep posting and don't let, you know, your fears stop you from like being out there. So just keep posting. Nigeria's Grammy nomination bag. Like David O said, Ichoko, and it sure gagged us to the max. The Grammy nomination list released this year ahead of its 2024 award ceremony had names like Ira Star, Ashake, Burna Boy, and David O in its major categories. And not only did we absolutely love that, we love the news category, Best African Music Performance even more. I love um, Nigeria's Grammy nomination this year because I mean it's inclusive and um, looks like they created a spot for us and that's really um, inspiring. The, the Grammy nomination this year is, is just a reflection of where Afrobeats is at and I think Afrobeats time is now. Our Nigerian artists bagging as many nominations as that. I think David O has like three, Berna Boy, Ashake, uh, the Grammy nominations for our uh, Nigerian artists this year, it's a, it's, an, it's a motivational thing. The Grammy nominations were amazing. We have like a lot of newbies there. Obi you got his first nomination as well and he got three or four, right? Delay is not denial, so it was amazing. Like the whole internet went crazy that day, so yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, as it is, it's, it's incredible that that's even a thing to be at that stage. So the fact that there is even a, a whole category for us, it's like there's a special place where they think, you know, we deserve to be awarded for our music is, is beautiful. Hey guys, my name is Jades. I'm a singer, songwriter, and an actor. It's been fun on Spice Most. Happy holidays. Hi, my name is Kennedy Ekizie, and I'm the CEO at Kepa. It's been amazing at Spice Most. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. What's up, people? My name is Dijulu Kung. I'm a fashion photographer and creative director based in Nigeria. It's been fun on Spice Most. Happy holidays, guys. And it's been fun on Spice Most. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. What's good, everyone? My name is Nonzo Bassi. I'm a singer, songwriter, actor. And I had so much fun on Spice Most. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a great 2024 to come. All right. Hi, guys. My name is Cross, Cross the Bus. Be fun here at Spice Most. Don't touch that dial. Keep it locked down. And um, yeah, happy holidays. Sadly, we've come to an end of today's episode on Spice Most. Catch us on our social media platforms at Spice TV underscore Africa on Instagram and at Spice TV and YouTube. You can also keep up with us 247 on our website, www.spicetv. Until next time, stay fetch and happy holidays.